right guys just pulled up to the lake and we're gonna do a bit of ice fishing hopefully um starting to get later into the year for ice fishing but seems like the lake is safe there was a lot of discrepancy going around about that there had been several feet of overflow on this particular lake so kind of had to stop fishing it for a good couple of weeks but yeah it looks good i'm not gonna drive out here though there is well over two and a half feet of ice and very minimal overflow oh yeah look at that nothing right there um i know for a fact there is a spring not far from where we're fishing um so yeah it's gonna be interesting we got a long walk ahead of us so it should be fun traveling light today mainly targeting burbot um we're about two weeks out from the closure of burbot so it's time to get on them now if you don't know what burbot are burbot are a uh, freshwater cod um they live mostly in lakes and rivers and one thing that's very unique about burbot is they actually spawn under the ice which is there's not very many fish that do that it's really interesting and when they spawn they like to group together in big groups and it it's really interesting because they'll do it weeks before the season opens now our goal today is to find one of those groups put a jig in front of their face and hope they hit it you know absolutely gorgeous out here today another thing i didn't touch on bait is illegal at this lake so we're gonna mostly be using soft plastics maybe a few spoons should be a good day though all right we just pulled out to our spot um fishing right off this little island um i was looking on my little sonar and there's a good flat here we fish here every now and then for bourbon it's a decent spot there's also a few char that hang around this area it's not necessarily the gravel bottom i was looking for but it'd be one heck of a walk to get to that spot so i think we're gonna try this spot first the weather's been pretty bad yeah so a lot of worth though so give this spot an hour or so see if we can get on some eel pout all right we've been in the water for about 20 minutes without any bites yet um we're probably gonna move spots here soon i'll keep you all updated all right guys zero luck at the first two spots so we are once again packing up the sled and we're gonna move a lot farther out on the lake so hopefully it's worth the walk spot number two getting a little toasty out here i had to a uh, uh remove my coat see in alaska what is it let's see it's 28 degrees that's what we call sweatshirt to light jacket weather you know how it'd be out here all right guys finally just hooked up here kind of one man doing it it's my cameraman left got a nice little bourbon on here here she comes oh god get it up noah hey he's cute he finally, it. all day finally catch my first bourbon oh god should keep him or not yeah fill the bucket up with water all right guys got a nice little eel pout here about uh, what 20 inches maybe a little less not a bad eater really pretty colors on it. it's really bright for this time of year it is a younger fish but yeah might get this on the stringer i'm not sure yet look at those eyes looking right at me real pretty fish we're gonna get a live well going here just a sec 
All right, guys, so we got back down the hole. We put our little buddy in the live well. He's just chilling in there. Yeah, keep him pressure. See if Noah can get on a fish. Be nice. Not right now. What time is it? 6.45. When did the sun go down? Oh, about 10 minutes ago. That's good. What do you think Burbit Bible will pick up? Honestly, probably not. Um, I think we caught the only Burbit in this lake. Hey, for y'all that don't know, this lake is kind of big. I'm not going to lie. It goes way far that way. Any remarks? Anything, Penny? Penny, can you look at the camera? Stop moving your head. Alright, well, you heard it. Probably gonna cook up some dinner. Let's see where it goes from there. Gosh. Oh, it's a big one, bro. Right, it's starting to get dark. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, no. First fish here. Oh, see Dodger, Dodger. Right here, right here. Here it is, there it is. Good oh, heck, dude, that's a good one. Oh, Hoppy, good one. Again, dude, that's the second 30 inch, second burb. That's a 30 in a row. Wow. Heck yeah. I'll do. I'll do. Hold it up. Heck yeah, bro. Oh yeah, she's a beefcake. <laughs> Hold on, let me get it like a beautiful sunset back there. Look at that. Oh yeah. The monster. Oh yeah. Big mouth. Absolute predatory fish. Big mouths, they got these big front fins. It gives them a lot of power. They got all these feelers. It helps them track down their prey. And look at that, just a big, just paddle of a tail. Hey. Absolute predatory right fish. Right in the bucket. Right into the high wall. Oh, that was smooth, <laughs> Noah. Sad. Come on, bud. Oh, it doesn't even fit. Woo! Oh my. Goodness. Let's get some more, bro. Let's do it. Pretty good bird, All right, guys. Just got back to the car. Not the best day, but not horrible. We managed three bourbon. One kind of smaller one. Another in the medium range. And then a really good size one. That one was a little over 30. Um, but yeah. That's about it for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. All right, so we're about to film the food cooking portion of this video. Uh, as you can see behind me, we have the egg wash and the burbot down here. That's just a little bit, but uh, we're going to be filming that, and uh, y'all can be in for the ride. Okay, so here we have all the foolish, the uh, fish flays, and uh, we're gonna be playing these bones up right here, because there's a whole like system of bones that goes up to here, and then we'll be chopping them up into little chunks like this.
this egg wash that we just did from our farm fresh eggs in the backyard. Um, we'll take this, we'll take our fish fillets that were cut, and we'll just dunk them in like this. And then we'll throw them in to the Zatarans fish fry. Make sure you all just stir that around like so. Get it all coated. The end result should look like this. Okay, we're about two minutes into this cook and they're looking pretty good actually. Not gonna lie, they look pretty juicy. This is just about half of the batch, so we're gonna give it another about 15 minutes and we'll see you all then. Okay, so here we have the burbot all cooked up in the nice little pile here. And then we got the biscuits rolling in the oven now. So it's gonna be a bourbon and biscuit catch clean cook. Okay, so we have the rest of the bourbon here getting all ready for dinner. We're having biscuits and bourbon. <clears throat> it's gonna be quite delicioso. Busted. That's true. Uh, it might be busted, but um, yep, this is uh, pretty much just the portion where we're just gonna try it. So here goes nothing. That's Boston, man. That's good. Burbit catch and cook. What more could you ask for? Let's go follow his Instagram. The Dot Real Alaska and his TikTok for new content and giveaways.